10 weeks, here is my review of the course. First, I just want to say that the course has been catered to any experience level, whether you've drawn before or have used a 3D modeling program before or you've never picked up a pencil and a piece of graph paper. But what I will say is that I actually do have experience drawing blueprints and I do have some 3D modeling experience. Uh, I actually never used the 3D modeling program though that we're using in this course called Rhino, so it was my first time, so everything that you're seeing here, I've gotten all these results by working with the class and with Alosha. So obviously, first of all, let's talk about some of the things that I really liked about the course. You know, sometimes you sign up for an online course and it has a really great uh, marketing campaign, but then it doesn't really deliver in terms of the content. What I have to say about this is that it's probably the other way around. I think that the content itself was actually above and beyond and I am tilting my hat to Alosha for the amount of work that I know it must have taken to produce this course. I think he's done a great job of making not only the pre-recorded lessons so that everyone could follow at their own pace, but also then to have every weekend a live session is been really helpful and fun and just enjoyable, but also uh, being in person with the class, the group, and with the teacher that is just so nice um, to be able to ask any of the questions that you might have had lingering or hear what everyone else is going through, sit down with a group of like-minded people, and you never know who you're gonna meet. It always has the potential to linking you or connecting you with someone that you didn't expect to be meeting. So I would say that in terms of the support from the community and the support from the teacher, I definitely give the course an A+. The content with the pre-recorded lessons has been great, and I've, I've actually learned a lot from them uh, especially with using Rhino. Just being able to sit down and watch Alosha kind of go through his process and reverse engineer and explain, you know, how he goes about making his designs has challenged me to, you know, experiment more with the program than I think I would have if I just took, uh, like, you know, a very classic kind of tutorial that shows you how to do from step A to Z, you know. I wouldn't say necessarily that his style is the classic tutorial. He oftentimes is explaining the reasoning behind why he's doing the things, which as an owner builder is even more valuable because you learn his thought process, which is really the most valuable part of uh, building your own home, in my opinion, if you're gonna try to go off grid. All right, and finally, I'll just say that I really do believe in what Alosha is putting out there and I want more people to experience is just the opportunity to sit down with a visionary who is taking these thoughts basically as far as you can take them and challenging us as students to really dream big. I mean, that's, you know, why we're here, right? Uh, otherwise you wouldn't be here watching this video. You know, you got big dreams or maybe you have little dreams, but you want them to be big and then eventually you want them to be real. Over the last several years, you've marveled at the beautiful, intricate designs that Alosha has created and put forth and wondered, how does he do that? And what would I need to learn to be able to do that with my own ideas? So when he announced that he was conducting a 2D and 3D drawing and design course, I got very excited. I have to admit though, when he first presented that Waddlerium design, I felt very intimidated. But he assured us in the very beginning, if we learn the steps to create something like the Waddlerium, we'll have the skills to create anything we want in the future. That was very reassuring, I have to tell you, because Rhino is a very powerful design tool. But he showed us how to find just what we needed, not just for this course, but how to use those skills or whatever we want to create in the future. And that was very reassuring as well. I had a basic understanding of bio design just from Alosha's existing online courses, but he went into additional detail in this course on biogeometry, sacred geometry, and how that fits into the design of a home that's not only beautiful, but supportive of the people who live in it. I had a great time in this course, got to connect even more with some very amazing people, had undeniable access to any question that I had getting it answered by Alosha and other members of the team. I've already learned a lot from watching you operate RhinoCAD. There were a lot of buttons and features I never used, and the process that you're going about training us, I'm picking up a lot already. And um, yeah, I've been using RhinoCAD for a long time. I finally learned the easiest and sh the shortcut ways. Although I've been using RhinoCAD, I've been doing it the long way. 
I mean, even midpoint. I never used midpoint. I used to calculate the length of the line, divide it, and then draw a line. You don't understand how much time you saved me <laughs> from watching your tips and how you do things. So I, I'm learning a lot and I'm enjoying it. My name is Tanya. I recently took an amazing 2D to 3D drawing course designed by Alasha. Before taking it, I had no experience drawing designs on paper or a computer program. The recorded lessons by Alasha are great. They're easy to follow and he goes step by step and explains how and why he's doing things. Alosha actually inspired me to create a design that I had kind of on the back burner, which I drew as a little sketch in my notebook a couple years ago and take it into 3D. So the turtle house that I came up with, this idea of a top-down floor plan, which included a few vaults and a main round room basically, but was still uh, taking inspiration from the Earthship design principles and you know having uh, some passive solar elements to it but also being buried on the north side you know i decided that i was going to take that and put it in 3d and you know really test the skills that i learned here in this course and man it turned out great i mean this sketch that i had i've never really truly been able to just rotate around it 360 and take a look and i would say that you know just that alone just the fact that i took a design that i had on the back burner and you know brought it back into the forefront and then turned it into a 3D model was well worth price. I mean, it's a very reasonable price for what he's offering. And, you know, if you can end up taking that sketch that you have in your head and turn it into a 3D model and then potentially turn it into the blueprints to build your own home with this course at this price, it's just a no brainer. I just gotta say that um, it's really just been a joy to watch you pull this class together and very interesting. And it's really just a joy to, to watch this process and. I'm I'm excited to you know continue forward with this Watelarium design. That it's a very interesting design. You know, just beyond the uh, the use of the software in, in getting into the actual design. I I think that there are several more classes that you know folks that attended this class might want to consider taking from you in the future about the design itself. I find it fascinating, and it as you know it ties in with a lot of my past designs using the uh, passive annual heat storage method. You know, we're really on the, some type of cutting edge here of, of building design. So I find that very exciting. And he talks about and shows his mistakes as well, which is a great learning tool and it really helps clear things up. I love how he brings his designs to life and you can see and feel the passion in which he does his work. It's beautiful. It is a very informative, inspiring course, and I am so happy that I came across BioVeda Academy. I am definitely signing up for another course. Even with different time zones, he made sure that we could get help that was convenient for us. I was just pointing out that in my experience, going back to what you said in like our very first session where this design may seem complicated, it may seem um, like it's going to be very challenging, but that we would learn all the skills needed to design anything. And you're absolutely right. I've been playing with just what we've learned up to this point, And I've been designing like a super Adobe Banya type, you know, playhouse dome and sauna for the grandchildren. And you're right there. Just from what we've learned, I haven't faced a single challenge that you haven't shown us how to work around shaping the bags, attaching things to it, doing curved surfaces. So you're right. This may have seemed like a complicated design, but that's what it took to learn all the skills to apply them in whatever way we want to. So that has been really fun. I've been applying it in all kinds of different. There's a perfect example. When you saw that the vaults were going to be cutting into the central vault bags, morning when we were doing the paper drawings, from the top, from the front, from the back, from the sides, and everything looks like it matches up. But then when you take it into 3D and you start ro rotating, looking at it from all possible angles, that's when you see what might be a construction challenge. So how horrible would that have been to figure that out after you'd gotten that central vault built? That right there has been priceless. Let's get to drawing, let's get to creating, let's get to building. Alasha, I am grateful for your help and guidance and how you have shown your true self and your passion in these lessons. It has been thought provoking and a joy. Thank you.
However, this course is not for you if you like squares. Alosha literally won't even design anything that is rectangular or square or linear. So if you like straight lines, I'm sorry, this course isn't for you. If your dream is to build a square cabin with an A-frame roof, then you know you just might not find it valuable. We're just not gonna be covering those subjects and he's not gonna be teaching you how to draw a square. All right, so one final thing about why you might not wanna take the course is if you plan on building your dream home in a city or in a suburban environment or in a heavily regulated area, um, if you expect to or even know that, you're gonna have to have you know engineers reports and permits and this, this is not the course for that. You know, th this is innovative architecture and it's gonna require a little bit of freedom to build any of the things that we're talking about here.